On the second day of Christmas, Chromium played for me An enchantment with a cool ability Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new video So we're continuing our series of 12 days of Christmas Where I'm playing fan submitted decks on the Discord And for today we're playing a deck list submitted by Jace And it's actually a super cool teamer combo deck that revolves around Double Vision and Mythos of Eluna but before I actually get into the deck deck, I wanted to just thank Jace for submitting this, this deck list and I wanted to thank him for being such an amazing friend. Uh, yes, for those of you who don't know, Jace is my friend from my LGS. He's someone that has went through a lot with me over the last uh, four years and I want to thank him for that. I, want him, I wanted to thank him for being one of my first 50 subscribers. I wanted to thank him for always being there for me and telling me that the channel would grow. And even now, whenever I need support, whenever I need encouragement, Jace is there for me. So thank you for being an amazing person in my life. And thank you for teaching me more and more every single day. So that's enough about being emotional. <laughs> Let's just get into the deck deck. And a reminder, if you want me to play your deck deck, I mean your deck, just make sure to drop it in the Discord server on the, I mean on the channel that says 12 days of Christmas. And I will make sure to play your deck. So that's it, and let's get into the deck deck. So this deck revolves around the combo of Double Vision and Mythos of Eluna. What's the combo exactly? When you play your Double Vision, it says whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, you copy that spell and you choose new targets for the copy. So you play Mythos of Eluna, cop uh, I mean you play Double Vision first, and then you play Mythos of Eluna. So Mythos of Eluna now is gonna copy double, uh, it's gonna get copied by Double Vision, and both copies of Mythos of Eluna are gonna target Double Vision, so you're gonna get two mythos of eluna so you're gonna get to create two double visions so now you have three double visions and with three double visions on the next turn you can really take over the game so that's something super interesting you can do and the deck is mostly taking us to that position either by ramping or by controlling the board with board wipes in the form of anger of the gods and storm draft one thing i wanted to point out is that it's super interesting that jays chose to play four explorers instead of four spiral and you might ask me why. Now, the reason why is that he's playing Valakut Awakening, he's playing Valaget Recovery, and he's playing, I think, one more mode of the FC, Spike Field Hazard. So because of that, Explorer is actually better. Because Gross Spiral says you may put a land onto the battlefield. However, Explorer says you may play an additional land this turn. So you can play these f sp uh, like you can play these mode of the FC lands as your additional land drop, and that's why you would play Explorer in this deck instead of 4 of Gross Spiral. Now beyond that, I just mentioned most of the things. Spike Field Hazard, by the way, can double up as a win condition. If you have enough um, double vision copies due to like, let's say playing Mythos of Aluna over and over and over again on it, this can deal potentially a lot of damage and you can win that way. And another cool thing about Spike Field Hazard is that it's an instant. So when it's paired with double vision, you can maybe Spike Field Hazard on your opponent's turn and that way you get to at least copy it once. So that's something cool about it. Blink of an Eye is interesting because now, if you play Blink of an Eye and you cop you kick it, the copy from Double Vision is actually the kicked copy, so you'll get to draw an additional card, and again, the instant part of it is cool because you get to copy something on your turn, maybe if you play a sorcery like Explore, and then you get to copy something on your opponent's turn, so that's something super interesting. And the art is just amazing. Essence Scatter, I mean, we're kind of a control deck, we're trying to get into a position where we can win with Double Vision, so of course we're going to play Essence Scatter. Fae of Wishes is here and this is the best of one deck but we're playing Fae of Wishes to grab a lot of these potential targets from the sideboard. We can get Aether Gust, we can get Negate, get a board wipe. I played, uh, I mean, I added just a double vision and an escape to the wild so the sideboard, uh, Jace first did not have that. But I felt like playing less double visions and then more uh, a, a copy in the... Uh, I mean, a copy in the sideboard is better. That way you get uh, two additional copies of Double Vision using Fae of Wishes. And again, if you get the copy, Fae, uh, you get the copy, the ability of Fae of Wishes, you, Wishes using Double Vision is OP. I mean, we all play Teamer Adventures at some point in Standard and we know how OP searching for two cards off of one uh, Fae of the Wishes activation is. Search for Escanta is an interesting card. We're a control deck. We want to rank up with card advantage. And when it flips, you can actually search for... Uh, double vision with it by activating the Escanta side. Explore, I just talked about why we're playing Explore and it's good since like copying it with double vision is insane. Cross spiral, same thing, it's ramp and it's from my favorite artist, Seb McKinnon. Oh, actually, I didn't notice that he's playing the vision. All right, so we're playing these DFCs Spike Field Hazard, Balaged, Valakut Awakening, and uh, Vision. 
Uh, sorry, I didn't notice it at first. I'm a bit tired. It's it's been a long day and it's currently 10 p.m. But I'm trying my hardest to keep on grinding video for you guys. Now this is interesting because when it's copied with double vision, you get to search for so many things. You get to search for mythos, maybe you get to search for escape, expansion, explosion, a lot of things. But the quit awakening is amazing because when it's copied. I'm pretty sure that the interaction with copying Valkut Awakening is that, is that you don't have to put anything back but you're gonna get to draw the exact same amount. Let's say I put back 3 cards, I'm gonna get to draw 4 with Valkut Awakening and then it's gonna copy so I'm gonna get to draw another 4. So that's super cool. And what I like about playing Valkut Awakening in a control deck is that let's say I'm playing control, control Mirror and I have 3 Angers of the Gods in my hand and 2 Storms Wrath that I'm never going to use. I can simply Valkut Awakening and put all of these back and then that way I just threw a, a lot of I mean better cards and they're on the bottom of the, my deck so I'm not gonna draw board wipes anymore so that's interesting but I get recovery can help us recover pun not intended uh, any cards of uh, the combo and like let's say I play double vision we get the next turn play but I get recovery and then just maybe achieve a mythos and if you have like another, okay, so if you have Balagate Recovery in your graveyard and one in your hand, you get to loop them with double vision. Let's say, so first Balagate Recovery gets something you want, the other one gets the copy in graveyard, the first copy goes to the grave, and now you use the other copy to get back the copy in the grave. Yes, a lot of hand movements, I know, but I hope you go what I mean. Uro, I mean, we're in, so we're in, I mean, Simic Colors, we're gonna have to play Best Boy Uro. Best boy as in he's like a very good card. I don't love the card that much guys. Please Uro Haters don't hate me. Mythos, I mentioned why we're playing it. Storm's Wrath is just an amazing board wipe. Escape to the Wilds, I mean it's a perfect card. It gives us card advantage, it gives us ramp, and copying it multiple times with double vision is super interesting. And expansion explosion can do a lot of things. It can act as a ring condition with the explosion side by copying uh, uh, getting copied with double vision and sometimes you can just expansion the mythos of Aluna to get like one more copy that can always come up and be effective and the instant side also pairs well with double vision maybe I get to copy my opponent's spell on his turn multiple times and that's always interesting beyond that the mana base that Jay submitted was good so I didn't change anything with it he's playing pathways he's playing three of the is it pathways two of the gruel path pathways 4 steam vents, 1 temple of epiphany, 4 stomping grounds, 4 breeding pools, a temple of mystery, and 3 ketria triumphs. For the sideboard, I told you I only added 1 double vision, 1 escape to the wilds. Bane fire can act as a win condition by getting copied with double vision. Storm draft is an additional board wipe you can fetch with fey. Return to nature is here against problematic decks. Negate, aether gust, crafty curse cage, red cap melee, things, things you would expect for a historic format. I wanted to thank you so much for watching this deck deck we're gonna get into the games uh shortly but again i wanted to please remind you to like comment and subscribe commenting really helps the channel get exposure so please if you can take five seconds of your day comment down below it would mean a lot to me you can tell me anything in the comments down below you can tell me what you did today you can tell me about your favorite tv show just mention anything in the comments and i'll be here to read it and to reply to all of you Again, if you want your deck to be played on this video in this series, just go join our Discord server. The link in the is in the description down below. And just submit your deck in the 12 days of Christmas thing. You can, you can introduce yourself if you want to the server, but if you just want to get your deck played, you're not comfortable introducing yourself, not comfortable talking on the server, completely fine. And beyond that, uh, if you want to have the channel additionally, you can always check out my Patreon link in the description down below. And with that, I'll see you in the games. Going into our first game of Team or Double Vision. Now, I really like this hand, so I think we're going to keep it. We have uh, early ramp in the form of Explore. We have a Double Vision as a payoff. We are doing a lot of things. And I think this is a hand that has a lot of potential. All right, we're going to play our land. We're going to Explore. I'm going to try to wait before playing Vision as a land. Because like having Double Vision in my hand kind of tells me that I want to keep it. We're gonna play the steam vents as a land drop and we're gonna simply pass the turn back to our opponent. Guys, you know what I always tell you. Stay hydrated. Alright, we're playing against elves. I think I'm gonna kill off this elvish visionary. And we're gonna simply play our Balagat recovery as a land. And sadly, if I don't draw an untapped source, we're gonna have to wait one more turn for double vision. But I always have the option of just uh, blink of an eye something uh, copied, so that's always good. 
All right, we do draw our land. We're just gonna play our pathway, and we're gonna play our double vision, and we're gonna pass the turn back to our opponent and hope for the best. Interesting collected company. All right, that's a useful collected company. He drew two cards off of it. He's probably gonna make his land drop as well. Easy. All right, Velikut awakening with a potential double vision trigger. That's interesting. But I'm considering blinking of an eye both land and war visionaries because I think that's too much ramp to give my opponent. Yeah, I think we're gonna just do that. Uh, first one targets this one, other one targets this one. Uh, Jason thinks a lot of the deck. I'm already loving it. All right, and a spike field hazard that will probably kill off this paradise druid because again, I don't want him to ramp. I mean, elves are scary because like when they ramp, when they get like ahead with the ramp, they can play so many scary threats that I do not want to deal with currently. All right, Alessoria's Shepherd is uh, an interesting play. Now I can't ascend scatter his uh, creatures, so that's cool. And we don't have uh, removal anymore. We're gonna have to get an anger of the gods, hopefully. But using using vision, we're probably gonna get there because we get to look at the top twelve uh, cards of our library. All right, let's just play our uh, vision. Look at the top six twice. All right, so look at the top six the first time. Always had it, guys. Always had it. All right, and I think next we get the mythos. <laughs> I am in love with this deck. I am really in love with this deck. Now we're just gonna play our triome, and we're gonna pass the turn back. Next turn we can mythos copy double vision twice. On my opponent's turn, I can Velikut awakening, probably Uru and whatever I draw next. All right, collected company again. It's kind of fine. Double Lenore visionary is okay. I would have Anger of the Gods at this board, but I don't want my opponent to concede. Like, I th I'm pretty sure if I keep on blowing up his creatures, he's gonna concede, so let's just not do that. We're here to play, and we're here to have fun. If Jace was watching this, he'd want me to do the fun thing, so we're just doing the fun thing. <laughs> we're passing back to our opponent. Uh, now we're gonna play Valakut Awakening, hopefully, if we're still alive. We're gonna copy it three times, and let me tell you how fun it is to copy <laughs> to copy Velakut Awakening three times. Alright, we're gonna be taking a bunch of damage. We're gonna be taking a bunch of damage. Unless opponent decides to just play his Nanowar Visionary. Alright. I mean, not a bad uh, decision. Again, I could have kept the Anger of the Gods, but Jace wants us to do what's fun. And I can't say no to Jace. Alright. So, opponent keeps on playing his land, keeps on hitting his land drops. I wonder what he's ramping into. We're gonna play Vakut Awakening, copy it three times. Let's put this. Alright, so now we get three cards. We get an Anger of the Gods, that's good. Oh, actually I was wrong in the deck deck. So what happens is that you get to copy it. You're gonna get incremental card advantage, but you're gonna have to like do it like every single time. Alright, I think we're gonna bottom these. I think I want to copy the Anger of the Gods. I could have not bottomed the escape, but I, I really want to see how far we can dig. Alright, let's just get three new magical cards. Alright, that's a very interesting hand. <laughs> I'm gonna Mythos of Eluna. Copied three times. <laughs> I could have copied this elf, but I just keep I just want to keep on going with this deck. I just want to keep on getting copies. Copy this. <laughs> <laughs> copy this. Uh, sure, copy this. And now we're just gonna anger of the gods. Because I, I really don't want to die. And we're gonna pass the turn back to our opponent. <laughs> I have... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 copies of double vision. You know what that means? If I play Escape to the Wilds next turn, I'm milling most of my deck. <laughs> Alright, let's just Alright, I can I can play of wishes. Get something from the sideboard. Let's just play Escape to the Wilds, guys. Let's just case let's just play Escape to the Wilds. Alright, I mean Wait, did I just mill my deck? I think I just did. I think I just did. Oh no. Oh I I think oh I, I think I can still play expansion explosion on Oh wait, actually we're gonna get to play so many land drops right now, so that th doesn't really matter, right? I mean, I think I'm just gonna time out. I mean, worst case scenario, 
We get to play expansion explosion on our upkeep before drawing our cards for a turn. So maybe that helps us not mill out. Wait, how much time do I still have? I think I have enough time. Enter stuff, play this. Guys, I'm not seeing it. I mean, there's so many magic cards. So many magic cards. I think I should have played Thassa's Oracle in this deck. So many magic cards. Not enough time. Enter stopped. Temple of Mystery. Yes. I like that card on top. Let's keep it on top. Uh, play the vision tapped. How many land drops do I still have? Wait. What? Tapped. Yes. How many more land drops? Oh, not enough land drops. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not drawing cards. We don't want to draw cards. Let's just board wipe. And next turn we should probably play expansion explosion on our upkeep before we draw and that should be enough to win the game all right all right lanor elves fine with me fine with me fine with me anything else sure paradise root is fine lanor visionary is fine all right anything else i mean okay the stop should make sure that we don't lose because like we're not gonna draw before going into draw step, okay? QQ. Reminds me of the Wilderness Reclamation days. We can do it for 12, 17. So we can do this for 15. We're gonna copy it a billion times. Okay, we're gonna target our opponent twice. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, we can do it for not actually 15. We can do it for 11. Sorry. We can do it for 11. Copied multiple times. Yes, we target our expo opponent with both halves. And it coffees. I, guys, I'm sorry, I'm like really tired. I can't do math today. Yes, target opponent. Yes, sure, target him with both. I, I mean, we can just kill our opponent by targeting his. his <laughs> we can target our opponent's creatures and then he wins out by, by drawing all of his deck. I am in love with this deck. Jace, again, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. But thank you specifically for something this deck list. Yes, opponent, you can draw. <laughs> yep. And opponent just milled out. And he should have milled out. And he just lost the game. Guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you took time out of your day to just watch me ramble and play a million double visions. Uh, Jace, thank you once again for being an amazing person. Thank you for submitting this deck list. It means a lot to me. If you want your deck list shared, if you want me to play your deck, make sure to join our Discord server and submit that deck list and I'll be very happy to play it. Um, if you want to help the channel beyond that, remember that you can always like, comment and subscribe. Commenting and subscribing being the big ones, they would truly mean a lot to me. And if you want to help the channel again beyond that, uh, although liking and subscribing is fine with me, you can check out my Patreon link in the description down below. And speaking of patrons, I wanted to thank them for making my content possible. And a huge shout out to Iron Mark Mac. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.